everybody. Miss Caroline the bookkeeper here. Today is Word Up Wednesday, so I hope you have a comfy seat and you're ready to read. Today we'll be learning about the unique artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel was a street artist that grew up in Brooklyn and was famous for his unique style of art that included graffiti. Like Frida Kahlo, our artist from the last Word Up Wednesday, Jean-Michel used his art to express his feelings. You'll get to learn more about the artist a little later on when we talk with Jean-Michel himself. But first, let's take a look at the book about Jean-Michel and his life growing up. The book I have for us today is Radiant Child by Javaka Stepto. You can go and watch a read aloud of this book on our YouTube with the link on our blog. As a young boy, Basquiat drew all day long. He created drawings that were kind of sloppy and weird, but in the end, they were still beautiful. As he got older, he moved his artwork to the streets by spray painting poems and drawings all over. Basquiat had a difficult life as he got older, but managed to put all of his feelings and emotions into his artwork, where he was able to create amazing pieces of work that we still admire today. Let's get to know Basquiat a little better by talking with the artist himself. Hello, Basquiat. In your book, it talks a little bit about your inspiration when you started creating art as a child. Can you tell us more about your inspirations? When I was a kid, my mom used to take me to museums. Uh, I never really had formal art training, but I always was very passionate about it, and I'm, very, I'm a self-taught artist. That is so cool you were able to teach yourself different art techniques. How did you practice your art at home growing up? As a kid, I was inspired by cartoons, and my dad was an accountant, so I always practiced uh, on a piece of paper that he would bring home from work. Very interesting. In the book, it talks about you being an artist that catches people's eye with your unique art. Can you tell us more about that? I changed how people thought about art and what they actually considered to be art. It was seen as looking unfinished or childish or childlike. That was not true. The art might look like it was made by a kid, and I liked it. Uh, I wanted to make art that looked like a kid made it. Why? because kids see the world differently, just like me. Thank you so much, Basquiat, for all of your interesting information on your art and inspirations. You yourself are an inspiration to so many other artists and young artists should look up to you. This interview has made me even more ready to read Radiant Child and to learn more about Basquiat's interesting life and unique artwork. I hope you're all just as excited as I am while you are watching the read aloud of the book, look for different unique ways Basquiat created his artwork. How does his artwork inspire you as a young artist? Well, that's it for this Word Up Wednesday. I'll see you next time on July 1st when we take a look at the Mona Lisa and learn a little bit more about this famous piece of artwork.